What do a $30 billion scam, a $600 billion car company, a love affair with a talking pigeon, aliens, and free worldwide energy all have in common? Ooh, I know, sucks. And you wonder why you don't get more lines in my videos. Let's talk about Nikola Tesla and how he could have changed the world with his invention that would bring wireless electricity and communication to all four corners of the world. And all this in 1900. So, as the great Marcus would say... <laughs> have I got a story for you! Nikola Tesla was born on the 10th of July, 1856, in the Austrian Empire, but of Serbian ethnicity. Even as a boy, he described seeing images of what was being spoken. Those images were so vivid that he could not distinguish whether they were real or not. Curiously, they were accompanied by flashes of light. Tesla had a condition known as synesthesia. Sina what? It's when you experience one of your senses through another. Isn't that usually just seeing colors? Yes, but who am I to doubt him? His ability would let him solve integral calculus in his head, which made his teachers think he was cheating. It seems he mastered his visions so well that he could actually work on his inventions in his mind, complete with measurements before ever building it. This was helped by his eidetic memory. Eidetic? You're just trying to confuse me! It's when you have perfect memory. Oh, and he was also a polyglot. Poly, what? Why are you doing this to me? He spoke eight languages. So it seems strange that armed with such a great mind, he never finished his studies at the Imperial Royal Technical College in Graz. I guess that's what the cool kids do. He worked a few odd jobs until 1882 when he started working at the Continental Edison Company in Paris. There he was quickly noticed and made to improve generators and motors. This is what had him brought to the American branch of the Edison Company in 1884. But after only six months, he went solo and started working on his own electricity-related inventions. At the time, the world was switching from gas lighting to electric lighting, so there was lots of money to be made from electricity. And Tesla was quite the electric wizard. He made a substantial fortune from licensing his alternating current patents, particularly his induction motor, a f***ing big deal at the time. Which let him live a crazy billionaire playboy lifestyle. That's what most of us would do with that kind of money, but not Tesla. This gave him the freedom to explore his own interests, which mainly revolved around electricity. Another notable invention is the Tesla coil, which he used for generating high voltage, low current, high frequency electricity for many of his experiments. What he was particularly invested in was wireless lighting and data transmission. Say what? Yeah. Can you imagine how it would have looked like seeing Tesla in 1891 with a wirelessly lit light bulb in his hand? I mean, you don't get this kind of charging today. Was he like a time-traveling wizard or something? No, but you can do a lot of things if you don't care how much power you use. At first, he focused on data transmission, but Guglielmo Marconi beat him to the punch with radio. Fun fact, while working on this, he observed unusual signals from his receiver, which he speculated as coming from another planet. So that's the aliens part in the intro. Some say he may have simply intercepted Marconi's own experiments. After losing to Marconi's he then set his sight on a more ambitious goal, that of providing wireless power around the globe. What about the free part? Yeah, that's bullshit. He started building the Wardenclyffe Tower in order to achieve this goal, which was a money pit of epic proportions. He lost all of his money, and also a lot of money from other investors, pursuing his dream of sending power through the Earth. He envisioned pulsing electricity into the Earth at a resonant frequency, which would get amplified just like on a swing, and be readily available at any spot on the planet. But that doesn't work with electricity. Wait, wasn't he an electric genius? Well, it seems like he relied more on his intuition and his synesthesia to solve problems, and it looks like it failed him when the problems got harder. You see, he opposed much of modern physics. He believed that Heinrich Hertz's experiments that proved the existence of electromagnetic radiation were wrong, that Einstein's curving of space and his famous E equals mc squared were also wrong, 
he thought that atoms were not made of subatomic particles, that electrons had nothing to do with electricity, but believed in the existence of an all-pervasive ether which transmitted electrical energy. And it kind of feels like he only believed in what he could envision in his mind, and such things may have conflicted with how he saw reality. After failing with wireless power transmission, he never reached the same highs as before. He tried to commercialize several inventions, but he didn't have any success. Not everything can be a home run. He also developed a habit of feeding pigeons daily, and he eventually fell in love with a particular white one. He said, I loved that pigeon as a man loves a woman, and she loved me. As long as I had her, there was a purpose to my life. That's even more f***ed up than me and my wife. In 1922, Tesla reported that the white pigeon had flown into his room to tell him that she was dying. Before the bird passed, he said a white light shone from her eyes, brighter than anything he had ever generated with his electrical machinery. But remember how his visions were accompanied by flashes of light? Maybe this was his way of admitting that he was wrong, that he concedes to modern physics, that his way of envisioning isn't enough to solve the complex problems of the time. Because in his later years, he was content to just spout nonsense, like he developed a motor that would run on cosmic rays or that his two-pound mechanical oscillator had caused an earthquake. That's probably where the story of him trying to give everyone free energy originated from. There is no denying that Nikola Tesla was a genius, and that he wanted to change the world. But the world just didn't work the way he envisioned it. It follows different rules. There are rules. And while it's fun to imagine that Tesla could have improved our lives significantly, the truth is that it was all based on flawed physics. And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs down. I'll show it in the title. And if you zap the subscribe button while you're there, I will send you a message with my wireless powered Tesla coil. So there's no free energy? No. Aliens? No. At least give me a white pigeon. Ah!